Calculating hydraulic pump flow and efficiency is essential for maintaining and troubleshooting hydraulic systems. In this video, I will go into more detail about the calculations and provide some simple examples to help illustrate the process. First, let's discuss calculating hydraulic pump flow. Flow is the amount of fluid that is being moved by the pump per unit of time, volume over time. To calculate flow, you need to know the pump's displacement, which is the volume of fluid that is moved per revolution of the pump. The formula for flow is flow is equal to displacement times speed. Typically, speed in this context is measured in revolutions per minute, or RPMs. An example, let's say we have a pump with a displacement 2.45 cubic inches per revolution, and it's running at a speed of 1,725 revolutions per minute. The flow rate would be 2.45 times 1725, which is equal to 4,226.25 cubic inches per minute of flow. This can be converted to gallons per minute by simply dividing the cubic inches per minute by 231, leaving us with 18.3 GPM. Now that you understand how to calculate pump flow, let's talk about efficiency. Efficiency is a measure of how much of the energy being input into the pump is being converted into useful work. To calculate efficiency, you need to know the input and the output of the pump. Input power is the amount of energy being consumed by the motor that is driving the pump. And the output power is the amount of energy being transferred to the hydraulic fluid. The formula for efficiency is efficiency is equal to the output power divided by the input power multiplied by 100%. Example. Let's say we have a pump with an input power of 18.3 GPM and an actual output power of 14.7 GPM. The efficiency of the pump can be calculated by taking 14.7, dividing it by 18.3, then multiplying by 100. This example gives us a pump efficiency of 80%. It is important to note the efficiency of a hydraulic pump can be affected by a number of factors, including the design of the pump, the viscosity of the fluid, and the system's operating conditions. By monitoring and calculating the flow and efficiency of pump on a regular basis, you can identify and address any issues that might be affecting the performance of your hydraulic system. To wrap things up, to properly maintain and troubleshoot hydraulic systems, it's important to know how to calculate hydraulic pump flow and efficiency. By understanding the formulas and examples provided today, you'll be able to optimize your system's performance and identify potential issues before they become major problems. Thanks for listening.